Is your Lassie hard drive not showing up on your Mac, especially after updating to Mac OS Ventura or Sonoma? You're not alone. This is a very common issue. Let's go through the quick checks that solve this problem most of the time. First, check your physical connections. Make sure the cable is securely plugged into both the Lassie drive and your Mac. Try using a different cable, and also try connecting to a different USB or Thunderbolt port on your Mac. If your Lassie drive has an external power supply, make sure it's properly connected and the power adapter is plugged into a working outlet. Some larger drives require external power to function properly. Simply restart your Mac. This often resolves temporary software glitches that can prevent external drives from mounting properly. It's a quick fix that works surprisingly often. Check your finder preferences. Go to the General tab and make sure that external disks is checked. This setting controls whether external drives appear on your desktop. Also check the Sidebar tab in Finder Preferences. Make sure external devices are set to appear in the Finder window's left column. This helps you access your drives more easily. These simple troubleshooting steps solve Lassie drive recognition problems most of the time. If your drive still isn't showing up after trying these quick checks, you may need more advanced troubleshooting methods. When basic checks fail, we need advanced troubleshooting. First, open Disk Utility by going to Finder, then Applications, then Utilities. In Disk Utility, check if your LASC drive appears in the sidebar. If it's listed but not mounted, select it and click the Mount button. If the drive shows errors or corruption, use the First Aid feature. Select your drive and click First Aid to scan and repair file system issues. File system compatibility is crucial. macOS works best with APFS or macOS extended formats. If your Lassie drive is formatted as NTFS for Windows, your Mac may not fully support it. For advanced users, terminal commands provide deeper diagnostics. Use Discutal List to see all connected drives and their status. If software conflicts are suspected, boot your Mac in safe mode. This disables third-party software that might interfere with drive recognition. As a last resort, after backing up your data, you can reformat the drive to a Mac-compatible format using Disk Utility. If all troubleshooting fails, consider professional data recovery services.